Hello everyone. I uh, bought a Tesla coil from uh, MTech Industries like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. And I've just been playing with it and I thought that I probably should, uh, I thought I'd just make a review video because that was one of the things that there uh, wasn't, uh, or one of my questions when buying this Tesla coil. Uh, I just wondered if there were any reviews and there weren't, so it was a bit of a risk for me to to buy it because I was a little skeptical. Uh, I, I was trying to practice some uh, smart skepticism because, of course, you don't want to be so skeptic. You don't buy something or end up don't buying something that actually works. But I bought it and it actually does work. So I'm just going to give a review. I, I have taken this Tesla coil apart and then put it back together. So some things might look tad bit different. Uh, it really is basically all the same. I think it's just the tape that looks a little different. But I bought the $150 version uh, and then that was just $20 plus shipping so $170 in total. And that's just the smaller Tesla coil and it, it, it's been really fun to play with. It's supposed to have a range of up to 250 feet to light up some of the little jumbo LEDs and so far from my testing I've gotten about 60 feet away and easily lit up a, a light and that's just because I've really reached the end of my property but yeah here's what it, uh, here's this is actually all the same packaging I've, I've saved the box and everything so this is what it looked like when opening it and right here we got our 0 to 24 volt DC power supply. This little box right here. I'll just sh open that. That's what that looks like. And then we got our jumbo LEDs. And in the, uh, the kit, I was told that I'd be receiving three jumbo LEDs. And I actually got four. That was pretty neat. I, I don't mind. I don't mind that at all. But I'm just saying, uh, everyone will probably expect maybe three jumbo LEDs. And uh, I actually got an extra transistor, which is really nice. Yeah, there's there it is right there. So in case you burn that one out by putting too much power, running it for too long, or something like that, you can replace that pretty easily. And then right here we got the Tesla coil. Looks just like uh, like he shows in his videos. Put that down there. Yeah, we got the heat sink, and well, really just everything he, sh he does show in his videos. There isn't anything inside of it. Let's see if I can get better lighting in there. There's just the zip tie that goes through there and holds it down. That's what the, the bottom bit looks like. You can see the little screw hole for the transistor. But honestly pretty simple. It, it was really simple to take apart. I just literally had to unscrew that transistor out of there and then uh, unscrew these little wires right here. And then I was able to pop this top PVC uh, piece off, just to disconnect it from this larger base right here. It popped off really easily, and then I was able to slip this little coil right off. And I, I just took the tape off to look at the coil and measure how long it was. And it was just like what he shows in his videos. I think if I remember it was four inches, but I'll show what it's like to turn it on. I'll just throw this box on the ground. Yeah, we got a little alligator clips to clip into that. That's actually, honestly, pretty neat. I like that. Makes it really easy to uh, connect a bigger power supply if you have one. Oh, and just to show that I'm not faking or anything, there's no batteries underneath the table. I specifically chose the dinner table for this uh, video. 
that all we got is this extension cord right here. Just plugs into a normal outlet. Um, a kitty. Yeah, nothing connected to the, to the table. I'll just get a view from a little further away. But I'll connect this power supply up to the Tesla coil. And please do bear with me. I'm recording with one hand, use my other hand to do all the other work. Okay, almost got it. That should be good. Okay, that's what that looks like. I got it all connected up. And I'll just grab one of these little jumbo LEDs. And one of these I actually broke because I think I accidentally hit it into something, so I think this one should work. But yeah, 0 to 24 volts. I'll just turn that at full right there. And yeah, just like a normal Tesla coil would, uh, would do, it's powering the LED. Well, I guess LEDs don't normally power up, but <laughs> with this little... Uh, uh, diode setup he's got going on here, or Mr. Malik from M-Tech Industry has got going on here, it works. And I can go, well, let's see how far away I can go. About that far before it starts turning off, so about right there. Pretty far away, like two feet away, two and a half feet away. But just like what he shows in his videos, uh, I'm talking about Mr. Malik, uh, you can go to light switches that are grounded and touch the jumbo LED and they'll light right up nice and bright and see the same thing for this one get to light up a little bit this one's a little harder for me to get just because that screw is all painted and I'm not sure if we'll be able to do it here uh, sometimes this little door hinge I can actually get the light to turn on. Not right now. I'll, I'll show you in just a second because I can actually, I can make it turn on. I just need to use a bit of a different setup. But do, 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 do. It's a little hard to hold it steady, but I can get it to light up. There we go. There it is. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. And yeah, as I said earlier, the furthest I've gotten is about about 60 feet away. I plugged it into a, a grounded uh, water pipe, or I guess more specifically a valve, and it honestly turned on just as bright as it would and I touched it against that, the screw on that light switch. But I can touch other metal things like this computer, and it'll turn on just fine. There we go. Pretty cool stuff. And I got some little alligator clips right here. You can also touch it against those and they'll turn on. There you go. Yep. And just doing some of my own testing, uh, I actually. Uh, one of my older Tesla coils, uh, a music Tesla coil, it, I, I broke it and I was just messing around with it. And as you can see, light is not on right now. But I can plug this alligator clip into here. Then I'll plug it right here into the LED. And I just got to hold the LED right here. And there we go, turns right on. I'll just point the coil, and as you can see, there's nothing inside of here. I'll just point the coil towards the Tesla coil. And I do notice uh, it, it also depends a lot on how I hold this coil. Just probably, be, I'm probably just tuning it or something. But I can get quite a bit further away. So about right here, 
starts going off at about six feet. And I have actually gotten it further, and it depends a lot on how exactly I put my hand around it. It can make it a lot better, but I can point the thing near a light switch, it turns on. I'll go to this light switch, it starts turning on the closer I get. And then sometimes if I get it too close, it turns off, but... Uh, and then uh, here's what I was talking about, the door hinge. I can bring this thing closer and it'll turn on. And then I, I think that there's something with the whole wall, probably some electrical components behind this whole wall right here that makes it do that. Oh, hey, kitty. Cat's meowing at me. Uh, bring it to this light switch, turns on, same thing. And I actually can bring this thing to the grounded water pipe. And if I point this uh, coil at it, it will turn on. And I'll show one with the old fluorescent light. Just like a normal Tesla coil, can bring it close, pull it far away. Actually, just because of how I'm holding it, it's not quite getting as far. Uh, I guess about right there, the last little piece is still on. I know some fluorescent bulbs actually work quite a lot better. You can go further. And... Uh, just through some of my own testing and watching more of Mr. Malik's videos, uh, I actually, I've seen that if I turn this thing just completely off, uh, oh, and by the way, heat sink does warm up after a little while. It's really, it's just a little warm right now, maybe a little bit above lukewarm. But if you do plug uh, like a, a 0 to 60 volt uh, DC power supply, uh, that thing will, that heat sink will heat up quite a lot faster, so... You'll probably want to put it in a, a, a plate with some water in it, just like what Mr. Malik does in his videos. But I can actually, uh, without the Tesla coil turned on, and actually, let me show you. I turned that, uh, that completely off. Yep, that's completely turned off. And then just show. Nothing happens when I bring it to it. Uh, but with it turned off, I can actually get this light to turn on very dimly. Let's see. There we go. See, very dimly turned on. And then uh, with the these alligator clips right here, if I, I can also change the setup more, and uh, I could connect an alligator clip to that little screw right there, and then I can also connect it to something else, and it seems like the light will get a lot brighter if I set if I set it all up right. And uh, last night I was actually messing around with it, and connected it to uh, my bed, my bed frame, and my brother's bed frame. And I think, let's see, how did I do it? I, I forget how I connected it up. I think I connected this piece up to, to my bed frame, then connected this side up to my brother's bed frame, uh, metal bed frame. And then this piece, I just uh, had to dangle an alligator clip uh, wire from it. And I actually got this thing to light up dimly, uh, more uh, a, little br uh, a little brighter than when, it, when I just did over there. But, uh, just just plugging it into our bed frames, this thing stayed on all night long, like just at the same brightness. And of course, I did notice that if I actually grabbed both bed frames myself, the light would entirely turn off. Uh, but if I just grabbed one bed frame, uh, sometimes it would get a little brighter. And then, of course, just messing around, like if I made a little bit of static electricity, rubbing my hair or something, the light would actually flicker and get brighter. And then it would and then go back to its same brightness level. Uh, just kind of a little dim, but I thought that was interesting to note. Turns on without the uh, Tesla coil turned on, but very dimly. Tes uh, with the Tesla coil on, it gets much brighter. And uh, I I didn't find that out myself. I was actually watching one of uh, M uh, one of the videos on M Tech Industries YouTube channel, uh, and uh, yeah, he. He uh, showed that he was able to do that with that. He was actually showing uh, 
he was able to do that with this plugged into uh, a coil. And I, I, I just uh, thought it was interesting that I could get it to turn on without the coil plugged into it. But I would like to test to see if I plug a, te a coil into it, uh, maybe make a replica of this one, if I can actually get this to get a lot brighter. That'd be pretty interesting. But I think that's about everything I wanted to cover in this review. I'll just give it a 5 out of 5 stars. Works just like how he shows it. Works really well. Uh, it's really simple and easy to take apart. I appreciate that so much because uh, with that music Tesla coil over there, that uh, that was something I was never really able to take apart of uh, unless I was willing to break the whole thing, which of course it eventually did break. <laughs> but that thing was that music Tesla coil was not designed to come apart. This one is super uh, nice, easy to understand. I really appreciate that so much. But. Yeah, really simple setup, and uh, I'll I'll try to find uh, uh, Mr. Malik uh, in his videos says what kind of diode he's using. I'll try to list that in the description. But I think that's about everything I need to cover. Sorry, I keep on pausing for uh, throughout the video. I <laughs> uh, so my siblings keep on walking past in the hallway. I keep getting a little distracted. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty simple stuff. I'm just gonna I'll keep experimenting with it. Maybe I'll start posting more videos on things I discover, things I figure out. But thank you for watching, and 